hi everyone so one more question we will see like um, how to automate the uh, like elements visible or not so we need to validate the test only with the visible elements mm, how are we going to check these are the visible elements here okay so that question we will see okay so one more question i'm picking okay. visible elements won't it visible visible elements test okay okay visible elements test see by dot phase this right Let's test. Let's see here, so there will be visible elements, there will be invisible elements. So whenever we identify the CSS selectors, no? mm, so locators for these elements, no? so we can see hidden elements. Okay. Okay. Only visible elements we need to test. No? We need to skip the visible, uh, hidden elements. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's automate only mm, visible elements and skip hidden elements. Elements. This is my test case. Okay. This is possible with a safe test. Okay. So see why dot visit. So I will take Amazon application. Okay, so Amazon dot in. Okay. Um, see now um, we can see here, right? One, two, three, four. So these are the tabs, right? Navigation tabs. So navigation tabs, right? These are the navigation tabs. So when I click here, it will navigate this page. Okay, so like this. So how many tabs are there? We can we can automate. Okay, here. How many are visible now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements are visible. Just go here. Insert element. Okay. Identify this element. Okay, so these are the links. So they are defined as the links tab index. Okay, it is zero. So tab index is zero, but these are the links anchor tag is the right. Okay. So now what I'll do? It is defined with ID as well as tabs. Okay, this is the ID. So when I pick this ID, so you can see right only these elements are visible. So under this ID, so see you can see hidden elements you can see number of elements on top so, see now copy this id control f so i'm going with the css selectors id right so prefix with ash control v. see one of one it is giving so complete this area see complete complete this area is identifying as one element but we need to work with the anchor tags right each one each one how many are there we need to get the count Identify how many are there, nothing like that. Now, space A. Okay, so parent shell element concept we are using now. See how many are there, 31 are there. But how many we are able to see anchor tags? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, just see 1, see highlighting the top, it is highlighting 2, 3, this is 3, 4, 
So Amazon application is launched. See, see, totally it is giving thirty and more thirty one to have length of thirty one. See. See now the screenshot you are if when you are referring the screenshot, see here what and all the elements are identifying. And hidden elements are also identifying with this CSS selector. Okay. This is a parent child element. I have identified the element with the parent child. Okay. Now see th this one you understood, right? We are identifying the element. See, it is giving showing all visible and invisible elements okay but i need to find only visible elements how many are there visible elements here one two three four five six seven eight okay only visible elements i need to find out okay. in that case go here here view visible Give yes, here eight. Make a copy, same thing. Okay. So now go here, visible. So you need to provide for this CSS selector. No? We are asking to visible. So provide like this and have length here. Yeah. Provide it. We will see what is expected later. So we are running the test. Okay. It is giving error. See, only five. It is. It is. It is giving only five. See, what is one? One is. So this element.
is showing only five. Maybe some issue with the application, but uh, on the tool, this Cypress is not able to pick the uh, visible elements correctly. But this is how we will do it. Okay. See visible elements. So how many it is telling? One, two, three, four, five. Only five it is picking as a visible elements. Okay. For now, so it may be some issue. Some issue. Yeah, you can raise the issue when you are working with the real time. But here now, what we are going to do, so just as for the application, whatever it is returning, just make it as five. Here, show all visible elements. Okay. So, all visible elements. See, it is correct. See, it is giving the element is identifying only five, but this might be issue. Okay, our tool, our tool is not identifying properly the elements. Or see, whatever the application is written, the code will identify. Maybe it is from the application side. What are the visual elements? We are able to see only five, but manually it is coming correct. But the tool picking only five elements, so I kept the five. But this is the way for this element. No, for this is a selector. You need to add a visible here. So this is how you are going to find the visible element, visible elements in any application. Okay. 